Hi, I'm Milesy, and this is Rocket and Root. And this is one that, unfortunately, I didn't get the idea to do until after the movie had come out, but I wanted to release the video while the movie was still fresh, which meant I went through about 48 hours of stitching in about two and a half weeks, which is entirely too fast. I was so exhausted by the end of it, and it was kind of a nightmare there at the end, but I got it done, and I think I'm okay with it. I don't know. Um, one of the problems that I had with it was the colors just turned out really dark and really orange for reasons that I understand but still infuriate me because when I was putting the pattern together it had a lot of dark colors and there was a lot of black and black just destroys detail. You want to have as little black as possible so I had to really lighten up the pattern like to the point where I thought it was going to be too light. But it turned out that wasn't actually light enough because a lot of the details still got lost in a lot of the darker browns and the colors are all off. And even at one point, I was worried that Rocket's white bits on his face, or on his face weren't going to show up. So that was kind of annoying to figure out. And I didn't figure that out until about 15 hours in. And I kind of, even at this point, was starting to worry because I couldn't see his eyebrow here while I was stitching it in. I figured, well, maybe I'm just not as center as I think I am, but no, it just wound up being really dark. And I've talked about this before, where you want to make sure that your pattern is a lot lighter than you think it's going to be, especially on these pieces, because the floss is going to be a lot darker than you'll expect it to be. And that's exactly what happened to me here, so I'm not really sure how to fix that or what I'd do differently, but there it is. And another problem that I have with it is just in some places he completely blends into the background and you can kind of see it a little bit on this bottom page with his shoulder and the top of his head too on the middle page and that's not very fun. And I've had some people in the past ask me why I stitch in these chunks and I don't just find the uh, color across the entire pa uh, project. And the reason for that is because when I make my pattern, I print them off in pages and it's just easier to go a page at a time because I'm already spending sometimes a half hour searching for colors on the page. Trying to find that across what is six pages on this one would just be nightmarish. So I do it a page at a time. It's a little bit easier even though it does kind of look funky sometimes but I do that for me and then I will oftentimes as I'm doing right here not do the pages in sequential order but I'll do them in the order that I think it will be a little easier on me so when I got down to these bottom pages I decided to do all three of them at once because they're really small and I can just get them out of the way and it would hopefully give me a better indication of how much longer I had to go which normally that's kind of how it works if all of the pages have an equal amount of detail which they didn't because the last two pages for their faces were so full of confetti that they took up the majority of the two and a half weeks that top page took about a day and a half each of the bottom three pages took less than a day to finish and the rest of that two and a half weeks was the two remaining pages up top and it was such a disaster and such a slog by the end and I was so tired and this was kind of the part right here too where I realized that there was a weird color shift between what my pattern looked like and what I was stitching because Groot is not supposed to be bright orange Groot is supposed to be a little bit more green or at least he was on the pattern but as you can see by his little toes down there he's bright orange and that was kind of the point where I started to get really not happy about it. And that's part of the reason I think I was so tired by the end because it wasn't turning out and there was so much confetti by the time I got to Rocket's face and the page after was even worse to the point where you can kind of see a little bit there on the corner of that bottom rightmost page where it's a little bit of orange because there was supposed to be a bright orange light back there in the background, but by the time I got back there, I was so tired that I just decided, nope, I'm not doing it, and I went off the pattern and kind of 
improvised a lot of the background elements out of that page. I couldn't really do it for the top because it would have been a little bit too difficult, but I cleared out a lot of stuff from the background and just made it mostly a solid gray just to be able to get it done faster because that would have probably added another two hours to this adventure and I just want it to be done. I finished, it was like seven o'clock at night last night when I finished this and I wanted to have it up today. So that's how close I came to just losing my mind, I guess, while I was finishing this. And another thing about the pattern that was really kind of confusing me is that Rocket's nose seemed like it was in the wrong place and I was really worried about that because it makes him seem like he's looking at the camera wrong. But I thought it was kind of interesting that the more I filled in his nose, the more his head seemed to tilt just a little tiny bit toward Groot. And that's kind of another one of those really cool things. Like right here I love when you can finally start to see what the picture is. It's not just a whole bunch of stitches. You can actually see it and it becomes an image that looks actually really nice. And there it is. And that's my favorite part of working on these things. But I guess, yeah, I don't know. I mean, as a finished project, I'm happy I finished it. It was a lot of fun, except right there at the very end where it was just maddening because once I finished with the green bit and this first field of gray that I'm working on right now, it kind of became the case where any colors that I had were like, there were five of them across the entire page and I was spending more time changing colors than I actually was stitching and that's always annoying and tiresome, but it got done and I guess that's pretty much all I have to say about it. But if you like this, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe. You can click the buttons at the end of the video for more videos that I've done. And I will see you guys later. You can enjoy the rest of the video.